We find ourselves in sigil as we do every day. But this does taste better now that it was telekinetically lifted, I think. I think that's psychosomatic. No, it's uh, taste. Stem from like a flower? Honey just takes this painfully long inhale. No. I do, I just, I love you guys. Last time on Sigil Community College, Strider found himself hiding in a room covered head to toe in bombs as Ophelia plays a flute very, very sexily. And Honey has gone to speak to the manager, who has, uh, which in the manager's room, Honey saw a weird face on the ceiling. And as she's walked in for the second time, this weird face is Magic Maven. This is Sigil Community College, the Magic Maven Show. Timbo, hit it! You came down to Sigil, ready to learn. But with Magic Maven here, things are bound to take a turn. His magic is so messy, his magic is so sly. Be careful not to cross him, or he'll throw dirt into your eye. He's always around Sigil, putting in the work. When people see him coming, they think that guy is a jerk. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to cut down into Sigil, but we're going to cut down away from the club to where Raz is. <sighs> Uh, but before we fully start, let's introduce our lovely, lovely heroes, starting with Raz. Hey, yo. Um, I'm Domino RBG. Uh, my pronouns are he, they, I play Raz, whose pronouns are she, her. I don't know what just happened. The crowd loves you as uh, oh. Sigil Community College is filmed in front of a fake studio audience. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Next is Honey. Hi, I'm uh, <laughs> I'm Mishroom Soup. Uh, my pronouns are he, she. I'm going to be playing Honey. Her pronouns are she, her. Um, there's going to be canned laughter in this. I know it and I hate it, but I'm here now. <laughs> Oh, okay. oh, oh, guys, I'm sick. I can't. Actually, I think I got to pull out for today. Ugh. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, let's go with Ophelia. Why, hello. Uh, this is Grimms, or Grimms if you prefer. And I will be playing Ophelia, or my pronouns are she, her, and I'm playing Ophelia tonight. Also, she, her. But right now, you can call me Hisandra. Oh Hisandra. <laughs> Playing the, the fuck out of that flute. Uh, <laughs> while these guys are just setting up bombs. And last but not <laughs> least, Strider. Hey everybody, it's Timba the Wizard. My pronouns are he, him. And today I'm playing Strider, whose pronouns are also he, him. The pirate outlaw from the stars who has gotten his ship back. And now he's um, investigating what's going on in the strip club with his good friends. And hopefully trying to make the multiverse cool again. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the crowd loves that one. Uh, the crowd loves it. They, they absolutely love that. All right. So now cutting over to a different part of Sigil, away from this chaos. Uh, what has Raz been up to? It's been like a day. Oh, gosh. It's been like a day. Mm hmm I think Raz probably uh, took the day to clear her head and go be a nerd and maybe uh, look into the whereabouts of uh, the other two jabronis that are on the boon list, one of whom is Magic Maven. Uh, so I think she's done that. Uh, she's also left uh, like 
like baked good gifts uh for everyone but especially like ophelia uh because she is emotionally constipated and not ready to have a heart to heart and be like hey i was really fucked up and like i'm here to apologize but yeah right now she is most likely on the track of a magic maven all right uh roll me an investigation sure boss Nope, that's intimidation, not investigation. <laughs> that's a whole seven. Okay. With a Let's seven, go. you are out for most of the day uh, finding clues of Magic Maven, finding a person who claimed that they were trying to give candy to someone who was asking for food, and the moment they did that, uh, the person had turned them into a shoe, and you're you're in, indeed talking to like a sentient shoe right now. Um, and then like some places where buildings had turned to jello, uh, someone whose gravity had been completely reversed, and they were uh, luckily they're on a donut, so they're fly they're they flew up, and they're kind of just in like the middle, just bounding back and forth. Uh, from like a, each section of sigil. Oh no! <laughs> yep. Uh, and as you're kind of, as you're kind of looking, uh, it gets a little bit darker. But you end up coming to the underdark after dark. Uh, hearing that right before uh, going in, Magic Maven had made a bunch of uh, toilets come to life to beat up people. Just because. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, he is. You you think he is somewhere in there? Also, roll me a perception check as you kind of walk up. Um, are you gonna be dressing fancy with your your shift weave? Uh, you can. To, I to think pop, upon. Pop in. I think upon uh seeing that this is a nightclub uh raz is going to absolutely shift into like a more like nightclub attire uh type clothing yeah you walk up and you see the line at this point has gotten uh a little bit shorter um it seems like some some jabronis were holding up the line and were de- dealt with, but then uh, so the line's moving at a pretty decent pace. Wonder who those um, jab- wonder who those jabronis were. You know, some some guys. They were honestly. You do hear the line talking about the like the quote unquote line heroes who got the jabronis out the way, but also then cut in line. Uh, after uh, making a big speech about not cutting in line. <laughs> <laughs> and the description sounds a lot like Strider. Raz is just like, yeah, okay. Uh, so I got a 10 on my perception. You know, only big rolls around here. Only big rolls. You, you see the building, and I think you would notice... There is a small trail of ice that is leading towards the back. And you do remember last seeing Honey with the uh, ice shooting out of her ear. All right, yeah. Uh, she's going to follow this trail of ice around the back. All right, yeah. You walk around the back, and you see there is a fairy uh, with a clipboard and a unicorn. Uh, they seem... To just be on like a smoke break. Uh, the fairies over there just talking to the unicorn going, Yeah, you know, I really gotta get out of, you know, I gotta go uh, go to the bank. I I made a deal with someone and they were a vendor, so I'm thinking they would have set up a bank account with uh, that name that, they, the, that they, they gave to me. So, honestly, I could just open up, open up the app on my phone and just transfer the money. And the unicorn is like, oh! You're so devilish. 
if if you if you weren't a flying fairy, I would think that you were a devil yourself. <laughs> As they are just smoking and having a good time. Mm, to engage or not to engage. What would honey do? Actually, no, we shouldn't do what honey would do. Uh Raz is going to approach, but she is upon hearing the word vendor, she's going to make the assumption that okay, um, you know, most vendors probably come in through the back, so she's just going to uh just kind of rock up and act like she belongs there. Okay. When you approach forward, uh, you see they look up and they go, Are you, uh, hey, how's it going? Are you, uh, Talon or you Vendor? Which one? Talent. All right, uh, head on in and, uh, uh, take the first left turn. Also, what's this I hear about? You said you have to go to the bank? Are the banks even nah. open right now? I mean, yeah, of course, there are a bunch of them. Uh, a lot of them have, uh, have you know, vampires or drow who who appreciate working night shift, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, also I just go onto my phone, and you see, there's this uh, this guy. This, this, I get there's this person came in, and they, you know, they gave they wanted to give me a name, but they wanted to give me like a fake name, so I had them use the name for like another. And then like 15 minutes, and then I, uh, you know, oh shit, money's already come in. All right, I'm just gonna be too hard on him. I'm gonna take uh, 60%, 40 for all this work. 60%? Oh gosh, is there a way I can stop this? How would you like to stop this person? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out like from someone you don't know. <laughs> from someone I don't know. Raz is just gonna. She, actually, she's gonna fight the instinct. She's gonna be like, no, and she's gonna head inside. <laughs> yeah, you head inside. I'll go ahead and put your token down. Uh oh, uh, the person asked her, "What name are you giving uh for the talent?" What name am I giving for the talent? Yeah, like what? What's what are you? What are you being called? When you go up there. Oh, uh, you can just call me Irony Knox. All right. You head on out and then you hear next up, Irony Knox. As you are right on stage in the middle, everyone's instantly staring at you. Oh, gosh. Um, cool, 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 cool. Uh, Raz is going to do her best Sierra impression. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> for, for those of y'all that know, y'all know which performance I'm talking. Like we, we, we <laughs> don't have the microphone and everything. <laughs> we get crazy over here. Oh my god! All, All right, roll me your performance. Uh, oh gosh, performance, performance, performance. Uh, can I get can I get advantage on this? Just because uh, I nicely. You know what? Sure, sure. <laughs> Advantage will be given for the sexy dance on on stage. That's a twenty-two. Hell yeah! Yeah, you see, you are uh, on stage, just giving it your all, and it's it's only a very quick uh, performance. It's only like uh, forty-five seconds, but uh, after you finish. Uh, one of the people goes, oh, that was great. You know what? You could head on uh, to the VIP. I think or one of the, the new girls we get some needs to back there. Oh, and we'll yeah. point you uh, to the room back there. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, Raz is going to hurriedly uh, make her way back. Uh, she's absolutely, totally not mortified by what just happened everyone's clapping there was one guy there's one guy in the corner who isn't clapping and goes i come here for classical performances only 
Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, bud. <laughs> <laughs> but you're able to head on back uh, here, and you will see uh, Ophelia once you open the door. Ophelia looks a little different, though, I must say. <laughs> Ophelia, for sure. At first, you're prob- you're a little not sure that it's Ophelia, but when you get kind of closer and look at the face, I think. Also, there's probably the dragon mark, no? Yeah. Oh. Well, the snake. I think the snake actually is what gives it away. Yeah, the mechanical. Zephyr. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're also, your clawed hands are exposed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're green, but yeah, they are exposed. Oh, they're green, though. Okay, okay. Yeah, emerald, I guess, would be mm-hmm. the better word. And she's blonde. Gotcha. So, like, Raz walks in, and, like, it takes a moment for her to clock that this is Ophelia. She sees her. Her lips start to form in the shape of an O. Uh, O... Hello? Uh, I guess assuming that Ophelia was in the middle of a performance, she'll, uh... She'll, uh, put... (laughs) Take her, take a hand off the flute and it's like, does she recognize Raz or? Raz looks like Raz. Raz looks like okay. Raz, but in like nightclub Ice clothes. Clothing. Yeah. Like, Why? It's probably a little more revealing than she's used to for Raz, but not too much since Raz like regularly wears like crop tops and shit. Yeah, Ophelia's in club attire. Just like got the whole, the whole nine, like with the black mini skirt, green top, sort of, sort of thing. Arms completely exposed. It's hot anyway. <laughs> uh, uh, she'll take a look at Raz. Like, eyebrow twitching. It's like the at the O being formed, and then go. Oh, why hello, new patron are you here for the vip room allow me to introduce myself you can call me hisandra stranger ah and you may call me irony stranger what a lovely name raz's face automatically has a look of where the fuck are the other two on it Oh, if you heard a disturbance earlier, one of the vendors went to speak with the manager, but honestly, who cares? What can they... Jimmy McBimerson do by them? It's just having a bit of a drama play. Hmm. I wonder what was that vendor selling, and why did they think that their product is so in demand well it's this uh lovely ice as you can see our our wonderful guests have set it up to make this kind of a pooling room as it were hmm i see i see um which which way is the bathroom Does Ophelia even know? I think she has no idea. I think she's gonna point <laughs> towards the the manager's office anyway. <laughs> I think it's that way. I think this. Are you? Uh, you're the new talent, yeah? Yes, I just got done performing, and oh, now that the nerves have left me, you know it's. Whew, gotta go. I believe the staff rooms are that away. And she'll point at the at the door. Raz is uh, going to move that way, um, trying to, you know, above table. She is one hundred percent trying to find Honey because Honey is one of the like she trusts Honey to give her the full lowdown on what the fuck is happening. Well, let's see what Honey is doing as we cut to inside the manager room. Honey is staring face-to-face with Magic Maven, who has enraptured her with his charm. Honey, you see him, and you think of him as a friend and uh, compatriot. Okay. 
<clears throat> Honey's just like, oh, hi. Uh, is the manager still in here? Uh, yes. You see that uh, she is like sitting in a chair. Um, also, give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, 15. With a 15, you can see uh, she was about to open a secret door that's under her desk, and it's like semi open, but she kind of kicks it closed. And she, as she looks at it, she's like, Oh, uh, what are you doing back in here? As Magic Maven's like, No, it's fine. Hello. Hi. Um, hey. Uh, so yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not here to speak to you. I just wanted to talk to her really quick. There are some, um, I guess you could call them um, jabronis. Uh, <laughs> they're they're setting up the ice in an alarming way up against the wall. That's not up to code. And that jabronis. much ice. Jabronis. Yeah. So yeah, they're and just in that other room, they're setting up the ice, and it's like. He it's walks deep. over, and he's by the hand. Come on, show me these dronies. Okay, I'll sh I'll show you. Well, let me finish telling her about it. She she's she's the manager, so she probably wants to, you know. Oh, I'm the owner. You could call me Dionysus. Oh, you're the owner. Wait, he's the owner. Oh. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. She's looking at the the manager. You see that? Uh, she nods. She's like, oh, I thought you looked familiar. Okay, yeah, they're they're over here. And Honey is just going to lead him back into him, right? Yeah, it's a, yeah. Magic Maven okay. is uh, skipping the entire way holding your hand. I, I don't right. like that. I don't care how close you are to me. She drops that hand immediately. <laughs> She's just like, absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> and then he's going to kick down the door and come in here and go, Alrighty, I see there's ice everywhere, but what about yeah. grease? And he's gonna cast grease on the ground. Uh, Does the grease get on the ice? On this. Hmm. Well, Does the ice is kind of stuck like on shelves, and there's like a bit of like a barrier before, so the grease is only going to cover the ground and uh, mess with the uh, people in this room. Okay, I thought he was just, like, walking into the room and in 0.5 seconds just, like, blowing it up. Like, oh, girl, okay. No, no, this is just going to, uh, so it's a 10-foot cube. That also makes the floor oh. difficult terrain, correct? Yep. All right, so he is going to cast Grease. I need everyone other than Strider to make a deck save. Also, Ophelia. I... Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, I wouldn't need to make that deck save anyways, because I'm not on the ground. Oh, next. Next. Ophelia, add plus five to your save. Oh, sweet. I'm cool. Next. The main jabroni oh. passed, but oh, all the bitch. other jabronis failed. Oh, shit. Well, that's that's a we just that. funny. I'm glad That's I only wasted 15 <laughs> for me. Holy. Uh, right. So, uh, yeah. Raz, honey, perfectly fine. Ophelia also not prone. And the wild oh. surge is going to quickly <laughs> happen. And she's pointing at one of the, the like closest jabroni to him. That's the one he's pointing at uh, to make whatever this magic surge happens. Can I help uh, Ophelia up, please? Yeah, you can help Ophelia. <laughs> come on, come on. You can do this. You you watch as Magic Maven uh, cast this grease and then uh, very similar to Strider's gun, just a ray of magic shoots out of him and uh, hits hits one of these guys, and you watch as his lips completely turn to steel. What the? Fuck? Just his lips, not like his entire mouth, but just his lips. Do they still move? Uh, yeah, they still move. 
Kind of seems like fuck? an. Oh, kind of seems like an upgrade his lip to be and honest. Tongues. Yeah, his lip and tongue are both steel. Ooh, that, never mind. Mm, no longer an upgrade. Not an upgrade. Mm -hmm. Break your fucking nah. teeth. Yeah. Now wait till I get back yeah. to my girl. No, <laughs> oh, shit. Terrible. She'll hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I hate that bit. For real. <laughs> Why are you with her? <laughs> oh, you know. We're we're not. <laughs> now. <laughs> not anymore. Not uh, anymore. You, you see this guy tries to uh tries to speak and his lips just got blah, blah, just like clanging and he you, his teeth definitely shatter in his mouth. Um and he's oh, like Christ. Rah! He's just not having a good time. Um the main guy uh who stayed on his feet kind of uh looks over at magic maven and kind of uh looks at him and goes ah that was a good spell but why don't you shoot something over here and he's kind of trying to taunt magic maven into doing some type of larger spell to activate the eye what so, while do you i'm on the while ophelia's on the ground is there any chance she could settle to spell magic? Yeah. For sure. It's very yeah. hard for me to climb down from this energy. Oh. <laughs> Timbo's back. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard. <laughs> it's very hard to climb down from this energy. <laughs> Extremely hard. Uh, Alright, I'll spend the sorcery point. Sorry to have yeah. that. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> perfectly fine. You cast a spell magic. Um, Strider, is there anything you want to do while you see uh, this? You see Magic Maven has broken to the room and is immediately casting spells as if he's in the Shadow Wizard Money Gang or something. Mm. I'm thinking real hard about what I want to do because I, I don't really want to reveal myself. Um... I guess I'll use this opportunity since everybody is very distracted by this to use the hat of disguise to turn into one of the club's like waiters or servers. Okay. Okay. Um, and then I'll step up from being hidden, and uh, I'll be like, "Oh, I get. We want. What did? What did people want to drink? Oh, there's grease everywhere. Who could have done this? <laughs> <laughs> Are you still <laughs> floating as as you say this? Uh, only like a like a like a half centimeter off the ground, so it's only like a little bit. You know what I mean? Do you want this to be kind of concealed? Yes. All right, give me a stealth with advantage because you were hidden before. I imagine you. Twenty-four. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. You see, uh, the 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 guy, the main guy. Uh, is kind of like no, we did. We said no waiters. We're fine. Like, we really didn't want these two in here. Points to uh, Ophelia and Raz. Oh, apologies, sirs. I just started my shift. Uh, I'll go. I'll just avoid this grease, and it, I'll just Strider will just look like he's very carefully walking over the grease as he tries to push to the back past Magic Maven. Magic Maven will kind of stop you and go, oh, "Where are you going? You didn't ask my order." Oh, of course. Um, sir, what would you like to drink? I would like a jar of nails. Okay. And I know we're serving it. I put it on the menu. <laughs> Great taste as always, sir. And um, good, I'll just keep going. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I don't know why, but I assume that the disguise hat comes with a serving tray, too, when I said waiter. <laughs> that was just immediately. So I was just like, yeah, it appears. <laughs> right in your hand so i just use that as like a little barrier as i'm like i like flip it up to my chest and like use it as a like sidle pass to magic maven because i do not want to touch him he looks at you and he goes he kind of think and you're just dressed out as one of the waiters you saw outside yeah mm -hmm. give me a persuasion check just to see if he likes this guy or not okay I mean, I got a fat plus one to this roll, so a total for five. Five? How does five do it for you? You see, he, he, he looks and he goes, wait a second. You're the guy who ate my apple pie. And that was an apple pie I, I made. I turned one of the patrons in. You bastard. You get none of my magic. Leave. Uh, 
Okay. Did, are you firing me? No, I still need to work it. Okay. Actually, I could fire you. Should I? Well, we hold on. We'll we'll leave it up to everyone else. Everyone else, should this guy be fired? Please, Please I really need this job. <laughs> I'm supporting my family. <laughs> 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 Roll another persuasion check with advantage. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. It's a 17 with that Hell plus yeah. one. Hell yeah. Let's go. You see uh all of like all of the guys on the ground are like, no, nah, don't fire him. He's I think he's been fine. He's been bringing us a lot of ice. He's been saving us some trips. Uh, and then the and like say the one guy on the ground with the metal metal lips and tongue is like, mm. like nodding in agreement. Uh, and he's like, "All right, you're not fired." I give like he gives, and, Strider gives but like take a, this and eat it, and he gives you an apple pie. Oh, is this a person? You know it. Mm, you know, I've been trying to cut back on my cannibalism. Oh, it, don't worry. I think they were air croaker. Oh, great. Okay, I'll just I'll just take this then, and I'll e I'll eat it when I'm on my my union mandated break. Okay, good. And you you walk out with the pie, and as you as you go to walk out, you hear the pie goes. Please don't eat me. I have a wife and family. <laughs> oh God, I'm so sorry. I'm not gonna eat you. Don't worry. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you help. How can I help you, Pie? <laughs> do, do you have to spell magic? But I don't, you can but just I, dispel magic. I don't, but I know. I know where I can. I'm gonna be very careful with you. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. Mm, <laughs> shit. What do I do with this pie? Oh, oh God. I'm fragile. Do you know how fragile Pie is? Extremely. I have to hold you the correct direction at all times. <laughs> oh my gosh. Which is uh, notably an issue for me. <laughs> <laughs> As Strider kind of floats away. Uh, honey, you see Magic Maven looks back at you and goes, Alright, so they were stacking up ice? What about this ice was such a problem? I didn't ask that before I came in here and started causing a fuss. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. So you really want to be careful casting magic around the ice. It's explosive. And you care about your establishment, right? No. Oh, well, I mean, you could explode it. It's right there. Oh. Okay. You know what? I like you. Because you're my friend and you told me about it, you get to leave the room. Well, I also care about those two performers. That flautist, that was a great performance. And then I heard... Um, I heard Sierra, which is kind of a, a throwback. So can I, I want to watch more of them. These are your employees, right? Oh, wait, are you my employees? Are you my, are you my top tier employees? As he walks towards you and then falls on his own grease. Oh. Rez <laughs> considers coup de gras right now in this <laughs> moment. <laughs> no, we're just performers. We're we're outside talent. Oh, oh! It looks back they at were, They're out. They're, they're outside. Oh, well, they were great. Well, now we're inside. You know what? That is that is true. All it's right. Extremely true. You all right? All of you have exactly six seconds to leave this room. <laughs> As you see, he's like. You you can all see he's about to like cast a fireball on top of this grease. Oh, okay. I'm gonna leave the building. <laughs> <laughs> Raz, Raz like looks at Honey running. like R Raz like looks at Honey like come here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, come further into the room? There's a door right behind Ophelia and Raz too. <laughs> oh. oh so you can go out that way. I didn't see that. Oh, but, okay. Before you leave, friend, I have something for you. Oh yeah, what's up? He's going to cast uh, haste on you, and then a wild magic surge is going to happen. Oh my gosh! Now let's see. Oh, okay, 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 okay. 
this may fix your ear problem. Um, well, no, 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 no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I this, <laughs> this is by choice. I prefer it this way. Okay. Uh. Well, it doesn't fix your uh your problem anyway. Uh. So instead, uh, you are so you are so sure that you will die unless you take a vow of pacifism right now. A vow of pacifism for how long? <laughs> Until you cast a spell magic on yourself. Until I boom. <laughs> or you, or you, you, and you, you make it known as well that you will die unless if you if you cause any violence to anyone. What would be more depressing? Let's see. He's, he's just like you're taking the only one of the only things left in my life. Why are you doing this? <laughs> <laughs> I've got Above table. Left. Above table, if honey dies, she can be brought back. Oh, it is also, you're not going to die. It says you insist that you'll die unless you take a vow of pacifism. Honey says that, um, and she's just like, I feel like if I cause anybody any harm, I'll probably die on the spot. Maybe. I can do that to people. I all right. I might cast. I might cast scorching, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about it, but I'll leave the room for now. I may come back if I change my mind. All I'm right. <laughs> and I'll give something to your friends that you love too. Okay. Let's what is what's a non? Actually, he doesn't care if it's a concentration spell. Um. So, honey, you're, you're gonna... At the moment you step out the room, and you can move double your movement uh, as you're hasted, and you have two actions uh, to run as well if you want to just fully run out the building. Oh, yeah. Um, but the moment you get out the building, you immediately feel lethargic as uh, he drops concentration on, on the haste to... Uh, Cast a new spell on your friends. Uh, he's going to twin spell a skill empowerment on on both Raz and Ophelia. Uh, are you guys proficient in performance? I yes. am not. Well, now you have expertise for an hour. Oh. Uh, and then because he used a meta magic and cast a spell, two while magic surges are going to happen. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> He's cursed. He's so you know. Some people would call it a blessing. <laughs> what if? What if I attempted to end this man's life right now? I mean, you could. I mean, you, you could. really could. Um, I just imagine that uh, Raz helped Ophelia up, and Ophelia's like still clutching her arm and just like looking at her. It's like, what the fuck is going on? Okay, <laughs> so not saying it Raz, uh, yeah, up? your weapon induces vertigo uh, to anyone it wounds. Oh. Okay. And Ophelia. Oh, no, this may not even affect me. Um, this may affect magic cave. Oh, by the way, as Honey passed by Raz, whatever charmed effects she was under, done. Ooh. Ooh, point of order, good to know. Okay. Okay, so the caster unleashed a torment of shocking, uh, for 2d10 of rounds. Okay, so Magic Maven starts to light up like a, a bug zapper. We should move. We and should go. It's we should go. exploding. <laughs> yeah, so you guys, you guys start to see Magic Maven start glowing. Uh, 
and you run out of the room. Uh, yeah, Raz is just hoping. like, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Honey's also telling Strider to get the hell out while the <laughs> pass. Strider's just running very delicately holding a pie. <laughs> uh, Ophelia, how big is Dispel Magic? Uh, ooh, allow me to illuminate ooh. by hitting the button that tells me what the spell does. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> I uh, forgot. Oh, <laughs> uh, there's no choose one creature, object, or magical effect. Oh. Alright, so I say you can do, like, a section of this room. Which of this room would you like to purify the ice from? Which sec? Unless yeah. you... Do you have twin spell? Like, uh, I do have twin spell mana magic. Then you just have to uh, use the twin spell on top of the subtle spell. If you if you would like to do two parts of the room instead of just one. Can I also maybe suggest that upcasting might help? Just because it's like a it's not really a spell effect, right? Uh. Well, the upcasting is only going to... Because it's going to auto-dispel the magic. Uh, or technically magic. This is this is technically a magical effect on the ice. But I'll say, gotcha. like, uh, this area... This. This. And then there's a large portion that covers this whole side of ice. Uh, you know what? It costs a whole three ass sorcery points to do this, but I think it's worth it. Uh, I think she would have done the two regions directly next to them. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that way it gives them a little bit of time. Holy shit. All right, then... Uh, you exit the room as Magic Maven makes a force. See, he's going to he's going to go. All right, well, they're out. Bye, and then going to do a force cage uh, in the room. I can't actually uh, move my character out the room. <laughs> can you not? No. You don't no, have I'm control. Stuck. Oh. I don't. <laughs> I've lost oh, control no. of my life. <laughs> I mean, my character. There, try now. Yay, thank you. <laughs> All right. Can we, so can do you we, see... Quick question. Uh -huh. Can we also say, because I thought of it now, but I didn't think of it at the time, but it 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 it, it doesn't change much. Can we say that Strider was just shoving some of the this magical ice that he was hiding behind into like his pockets and like just trying to get some of it out of the, this corner since he was hiding back sure. there? Yeah. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Uh, roll me like a d20. You have 12. 12 pieces of explosive ice in your pocket. I'll take oh it. my gosh. So does the ice melt? The ice does not melt, no. No, that's, that's, bad. that's part of the magic about it. Um, you also see that it is indeed coming out of Honey's ears, so do with that as you will. Uh, <laughs> as Magic Maven, who is also sparking with electricity, walks out, walks out the room and then casts a force cage so that these people cannot leave. Uh, another, I'm just gonna roll another wild magic surge for him. It's just actually gonna, can I, I can I count? Do I wanna? No, never mind. I'm gonna leave it alone. What do you All think right. about? I was the like, temp I'm spelling that force cage. <laughs> <laughs> well, they they are trying to blow up the the room, but also Ophelia. Ophelia's just mad that Magic Maven thought of fireballing the room first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, <laughs> really, really funny. Uh, Magic Maven doesn't age while bald, <laughs> and he's always That's bald. That's such a... 
Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, you see, you, you as you guys kind of look through the kind of shimmering force cage, you can see Magic Maven just get a bit of more youthful in his in his face. He's like, I feel like all of my back doesn't hurt. Hooray! And just kind of clicks his heels. Uh, as you watch a room just kind of explode, taking out all of these members of the Chaos Cult. And Magic Maven is going back into the manager's room. You see the, the club does shake a bit still, and everyone kind of looks... Uh, and you see there's like a huge hole just blasted in the, in the club here at this at this uh, juncture. But all of you are now together. What do you what do you do? Oh, thank God. Can one of you cast the spell magic on this pie, please? Please. What? I have a what? On the pot? What the hell? The what the? F that crazy bastard wasn't fucking kidding. This this pie is talking. Oh what? shit, not another talking pie? Oh, give me that. No. <laughs> no! No, 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 I love talking pies. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> After this the new mine. boss got here, I just magically love all magical talking pies. Put this one to mine, I'll fight you for it. <laughs> Urgh, fine. You're lucky that I'll die if I if I hurt anyone. It must and make you a real. really effective bodyguard. <laughs> Honey was already you. charging a spell. Like it'd be worth it. I can't. <laughs> what the? Raz puts a hand on her shoulder. I mean, I'm uh, not doing it now. He backed off. I'm fine. It's whatever. Okay. What is happening? If I hurt someone, I'm going to die. But also, no, that, that bastard charmed me. And this man is a pie. No, this pie and is that a man. Honey cast the spell magic on the pie. Okay, get this get this pie ban out of my face. You see a uh air crooker will appear and go Oh thank you. I am forever in your debt. Okay, if you, you ever have? need me, blow on this magic conch and I will appear with my flock of brethren. Um, and he flies away. Just over to like a table to get some alcohol and watch some more exotic dancers. Sweet. Strider tucks that into his into his bag. <laughs> <laughs> what should I call this? Cry of the Aarakocra flock? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, it, that or a magic conch. Alright, does he look suspiciously like a chicken? Are these are, is he a fucking cuckoo? Yeah, he's a Aarakocra, which is no. a bird No. No. Are you I trying mean, to say it's like the, the chicken from the Legend of Zelda series? Yeah, so if you hit it, it's in and it, all of its gang are gonna roll up and kill you. Oh, yeah, like, essentially. Like it is like that, cuckoo. yeah. God yeah, he damn does, it. He does look like a cuckoo. God damn it. Oh, uh, quick question. Ophelia mm -hmm. still is true seeing. Does Magic Maven show up any different to her than any uh, the rest of the people? Uh, no, but that air croaker definitely looked different to you because I forgot you had true scene. Yeah, you look at that air croaker and it looks like a changeling. Oh. Oh. She'll kind of leave it, but whoever's closest, like that. I think that's a changeling. She'll say quietly. <laughs> wow, that makes this conch shell even fucking cooler. <laughs> I thought it just summoned bird people, but now you're telling me it summons changelings? That's even doper. I, uh, okay. Um, who the... I, I, I lost the thread. I, I wanted to murder some cultists so badly that I... Who the fuck was that guy? Um, that? Dionysus. The club owner, apparently. You mean... That's Magic Maven. Also that, apparently. Magic Maven, Magic Maven. Wait, didn't that top hat guy say something about a Magic Maven? 
Yes, um, Top Hat is basically like a familiar for Magic Maven. And Magic Maven is one of the people that is on my grandmother's list that has received a boon from her. Ah, I see. So they're on your shit list as a result. Yes. So we're killing this guy. Shredded pulls out his gun. I was really tempted, you guys. I was really, really tempted. Well, we are also here kind of looking for the, the, the lady of pain. There was reports that she got, she was bald here. We're having a whispered conversation at this point, even though I'm speaking at regular volume above table. <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted to establish that. We're yeah. trying, this is a whispered in the corner conversation. It's like, right. it's fine. The, the only person listening to you is the hair croaker who's writing stuff down over at the table. Why is he listening? <laughs> How can he be listening? Hell I thought he was How watching these hear answers. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah. You, Ophelia, will you give me a. Uh, Perception check. Oh, perception, my favorite. That's I'm, I'm really good at that. You can do it. That's a nine. Advantage. Oh, with advantage. advantage. Okay. You got Zephyr there. That's an eight. Oh. <laughs> Zephyr oh. has blind sight 15 feet, though, for what it's worth. Zephyr has <laughs> blind. <laughs> I was about to say, Zephyr is just blind right now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to make a check usually for that one. <laughs> for... That's fair. Right. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah. blind sight 10 feet. Okay, okay. Give me one second. Look at something. Do, 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 do. Uh, so, normally, you, you do. So, normally, you. Uh, see like a few scrying eyes around you when you are um you know it because you know honey's got that big old dragon eye on top of her. it strider's always got a few scrying eyes around him at all times uh but it looks like the one that's normally around strider is like a bit further away um and then when you kind of Give me, give me an insight. As you're the only one who can truly see. Uh -huh. 23! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, wait, you said only one that can see? I think I have double sight, actually. You would need true sight to see into the ethereal plane or uh, okay. scry. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. But, uh, you, you're looking and you're, you're actually... It's more of the lack of you not seeing this scrying eye so close. And then you turn and you look at that air croaker again and you realize, wait a second, that's fucking Rin. The air croaker? Yeah, the one who is a changeling uh, to, to Ophelia right now. Rin. And then you see he stands up and uh, starts walking out. I think Ophelia is like shocked enough that she's gonna kind of mumble it out loud in the hush tones like, that's Ren? <laughs> then he dimensions doors and he's gone. Wait, the, the pie? The pie. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Wait. Are you serious? The, the, the pie was an Aarakocra that was a changeling that was red. With Ophelia's, with Ophelia's insight, you think that Rin came here probably looking for some type of story, got turned into a pie, and uh, you were the first ones that one didn't eat him and changed him back, and then he just fucked off. Well, looks like he got really lucky, I say, as I take the conch from my shell and crush it under my foot. What if that was useful later? Nope. You see, it doesn't break as it is it's still a magical item. I kick it into the crowd. Nope. Stri you see a person Strider. who nope. grabs it and goes, oh, shit. Strider. Ooh, that's a magic conch. Is this anybody's? Did I have this? It's all you, uh bud. 
<laughs> Strider. Shit. So I, I, I'm going to just I'm gonna just blow it right now. Then. Go for we it. I go. don't fucking care. Fuck red. We should go. We should go. You see the guy blows it and a group of air crocra uh, bikers like phantom bikers appear around the guy and goes, how can we help you? Like, oh, you guys want to party? Of course. And then all these ghosts start to start to party in here. See, with well, that story out of such a happy ending. And now Ren can't track me. So that's pretty cool. Thanks. Thank you for this thing, man. That's great. You're welcome. What's your name? Oh, my name is Jimothy. Oh, hey, Jimothy. Nice to meet you. I'm Strider. You probably read my books. If you say a word about Glado, no. I'll, I'll kill you. <laughs> what book? I honestly I can't read. Oh, okay. I'll okay. <laughs> I'll get you the audiobook, Jimothy. <laughs> Enjoy the conch. What's your last name, Jimothy? Jimothy Timothy. What was the name that the uh, fairy dude said he was uh, jacking a whole bunch of money from? Yeah, uh, well, probably that. Yeah. Unfortunate. <laughs> unfortunate. In, Rest, he's, uh, he's, you should probably check your bank account. My bank account? Oh, uh, I mean, I did get in here because I promised that pixie outside that I'd ha take this name for like 30 minutes. Let me check my- Oh my god! I'm ruined! I'm ruined! <laughs> Well, now you have something that at least you have some ghostly Aarakocra bikers that can help you with that. Let's go get him. I bet he's still outside. And, and then, then they all just they all, they all leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like they go. Worse version of, <laughs> it's like a worse version of Spirit Guardians. Oh, my gosh. Right. <laughs> it's, it's like it's like they, they go. Now that you it's like, oh, we are acting vengeance. We love acting vengeance. Mm -hmm. We we give you this ghostly motorcycle jacket it comes with a ghostly motorcycle and then the the guy is like hell yeah and like peels off in like blue flame and they head outside and you hear uh you hear that they are beating up uh they're beating up the fairy outside and uh <laughs> william william ever living uh finally after he got beat up you know, he he was distracting the the bouncers for you guys last episode, uh, and and by by distracting them, uh, he means being horribly beaten by them. He he will show back up and goes, ah, oh, all right, guys, the plan worked. Well, yeah, I you made it in. Too. Good job, bud. Good job. Um, uh, hold on to this for a minute. I'm gonna. Who has the do? I have Ring of Regeneration down on my character sheet, but I think Raz has that right. Ring of I do not. Okay. I pass him the ring of regeneration and I'm saying, okay, hold on to this for a minute. You'll feel a little better. Oh, fucking, fucking nice. Oh, I can get back this hand. And you see he's missing an entire hand. Oh, God. William. Yeah. What the? Now they beat me up good. And then a, pu a bunch of dogs appeared and bit off my hand, but I got the ring, so we're good. What? What the f? What you can't beat. You can't beat my spirit. Oh you see, he's just goodness. smiling. He's a real happy guy. William is. William smoked this, and I, I light a joint and put it in his mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he takes it. Why do you? Why do you still have so much drugs? I've I never had one of this before. It's the dream lily joint. It will stabilize him. Oh hell yeah! You see, he's just having a great time. There you go, but smoke his up. hand slowly, slowly regenerating. He's just so happy to be here. Also, ring of regeneration. What else did I do? It's very good. <laughs> it regenerates it heals you and over it, time and heals you over time. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. So, so useful. Awesome. Glad he's not going to miss a hand anymore, but also we haven't really done anything. I mean, we saved the club from being blown up, but we, but, but, we met him and... J j right, show of hands. Who wants to kill Magic Maven? Yeah, he charmed me. Fuck that guy. He's trying to put his hand up. <laughs> We're going to go kill Magic Maven. 